Okay, now, last Friday, what we did on the assignment is we um, graphed using slope y-intercept. Now, in order to be able to do that, the y has to be by itself. So you're not, even though you're not graphing these, okay, you need to find the slope and y-intercept of the graph of the equation. Now, you're not. That doesn't mean graph it, okay? It doesn't mean go off, make a little thing, and graph it. No, okay. What you need to do is something you haven't done before. I haven't taught you how to do it, and that changes today is you have to get the y variable by itself. You have to isolate the y variable. Now that doesn't mean you find what y equals, like y equals seven. That's not gonna be how this works, okay? Here's what you need to do. You need to make a line on the side, whatever side the y is on, okay? Then you wanna mark the y and its multiplication number of two, okay? You wanna circle that and highlight it. Now, for reasons I will get to tomorrow, okay, or in this video, I'll get to it. That number that is multiplied by y has to be a positive, okay? And it is, so we're good. So I'm going to put a check mark, so it's good. Now, you need to take out this negative 6. You're going to add 6, but here's the problem. You can't add it to 3 because 3 has an x. So 6 doesn't have a letter at all. So what you do is you make a number over there a 0. Okay, and then you have a place where you can actually add 6. Okay, it's a little bit weird. So you line up your equals, and you drop your 2 times y on this side. Now you have to write the x term first, always. Okay, it's first here, but it always has to come first. Then you got 3, and 0 plus 6 is 6. Now... What are you going to do about the times? Well, what do I normally do at times? Well, to get rid of the times 2, I divide by 2. Now you're like, what do you divide by 2 here? You divide both of these by 2, okay, separately. You can't combine 3x and 6. 3 has x. 3 is multiplied by x. 6 is not. So you divide them by 2 separately. At least you try to divide them by 2 separately. Now, if we get a decimal, you do not want to put decimals, okay? 3 divided by 2, okay? That's a decimal. 1.5 is what I got. If you get a decimal, don't do second PRB either, okay? If you get a decimal, just keep it 3 over 2x, okay? And then another way where 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now you're done, okay? You should have three lines of work here. You have M and B now. And then come over here and just identify what the slope and y-intercept is. So the slope is 3 over 2, and the y-intercept is plus 3. You're not graphing it, just identify what they are. Okay, next problem. So you have to get the y by itself. So mark your multiplication number. And you have to take out your plus 6. So you're going to minus 6. But I look over here and there's no... Uh, by, by the way, first off, I forgot to ask you. Is a number multiplied by y positive? It is. Put a check mark. Okay. Now you come over here, you need a number, you can't, it can't be subtracted with negative 2x, okay? So you make a 0, and then you minus 6. You need a number without a, an x over there. 3 times y, and then you put your x with the negative 2, and 0 take away 6 is negative 6. Now you divide by 3, that takes out the times 3, but then you got to divide by these by three separately, okay? So negative two divided by three decimal. Don't go second PRB, okay? Because if you some of these, if you go second PRB, you're going to end up with a mixed number. You don't want that, okay? If you get that, just be perfectly fine with setting it, keeping it negative two over three x. Just keep it as a fraction, negative two thirds. Negative 6 divided by 3 is not a decimal, that is negative 2. Okay. Now you got M, you got B. So the slope would be negative 2 over 3, and minus negative 2 is the y intercept. Okay, example 3. Now,
here's the y. It's multiplied by a negative 3. Okay. And this time, see up here we had positive multipliers. This time we have a negative multiplier. That's bad news. Okay. So we don't put a check mark. And I'll explain why it has to be positive when I get over here. Okay. But what you need to do if you have a negative y multiplier, you need to switch all values. I don't care if you write this down, it might help. In equation to their opposite. And I'll explain why that has to be done. Okay, because you need that. So what's the opposite of positive 18? Negative 18. What's the opposite of negative 3? Positive 3. Now I can check that. Opposite of positive 15, negative 15. Now I'll explain why that is so important when I get over here. Now, you're going to take out the outside term. It's negative 18x, you add 18x. But again, that has x, that don't, okay? So you put, you need an x column, so you put 0x this time instead of just 0, because the 18 has an x. So I add 18x to 0x. So on this side, you got 3 times y. Now, you ha don't put negative 15 first. You've got to put the x first. 0 plus 18 is going to give me 18. And then I add the negative 15. The x has to be laid out before the number without the x. Divide by 3. Okay, 18 divided by 3 is not a decimal, it's 6x, okay. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Now you got your m and your b. y equals mx plus b. So slope, y in, slope is 6, that would be a 1. The y-intercept is negative 5. Now, you're going to wonder, why is it so important that that be positive? Well, here's why. This is where the slope's at, okay? Now, this one divided without a decimal, but if it doesn't, and I leave it as a fraction, that number there is the run on my slope. And we always want the run to be forward, okay? We don't want to go backwards. On none of those problems Friday did I do go backwards with the slope. It was always up, down, the rise, and then the run was always forward. That's why it's so imperative that you make sure that that Y multiplier is a positive, okay? In my class, it's just my preferred way of teaching it. I, I, I hate doing slopes and going backwards. Okay, It's idiotic in my book. People might disagree, but that's just my opinion. Okay, now, this is the Y side. I know it looks different than the others, but stick to the plan. Okay, That's a positive, so check. So I don't have to switch all values in the equation to opposite. You have to take out the 4x, but this time I've got an actual x to subtract 4 under. I don't need to make it the 0 term. So 3 times y, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2x, and then you can make it plus negative 12 if you want. Okay, So I didn't need to create the 0 term on that one. And I divide all of these by 3. y is now by itself. Good. That's a decimal, so we keep that negative 2 over 3x, and negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. Again, so when I do my slope and my y-intercept, the slope is m, negative 2 thirds, and then negative 4 is a y-intercept. So don't circle this, just watch. That be, see, that multi y multiplying number becomes the run on my slope. Okay, that's why I got to need that to be positive. So that when we do graph it, we can just go down to negative 4. Okay, then you can go down 2, forward 3. You don't have to do that backwards garbage. Okay, okay example 5. 2x plus 6y equals 12. 2x plus 6y equals 12. So you want to mark your multiplication. The y is what you're solving for. So the multiplier I want to mark. Okay, It's positive, so check. Take out your 2x. 
Do we have an x over there? We don't. So we have to create a 0x term so that I have a place to subtract 2x from. Now, it's very important that you label, do your x first. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and then plus the 12. Okay, negative 2 divided by 6, that's a decimal. I want no part of that, so 2 over 6x plus 2. Okay, so m, b. Now your slope, negative 2 over 6 and then plus 2. If you keep the slope that, I wouldn't be mad, but is they both in the second row, you could divide them both by 2 and get down to negative 1 over 3. I'll accept either way, okay? Because I've told you in the past, slopes need to be reduced. I don't really care on this assignment here, okay? Okay, example 6. That's a positive, so check. That's good, so... Minus 7. Now I can't minus 7 from 3 because 3 is multiplied by x, so I make a 0 and minus 7 from that. I'd make a 0 without an x, okay? So I have a place to put the 7 because the 7 doesn't have x. Okay, so we have 3x. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. Divide by 2. That is a decimal, okay? So 3 over 2. That is a decimal 2, so I keep it that way. Then M, B. So the slope would be 3 over 2, and that's, that's a good looking slope. However, negative 7 over 2 is a crappy looking y-intercept. On the y-intercept, if you have that, you need to actually divide it. Just I want the slope as a fraction, but the decimal, I mean, put it over there, but then just go with that. Because if I had to graph it, I'm not going to know where negative 7 over 2 is at on the y-axis. I would know where negative 3.5 is at. Okay, example 7. Again, that's a negative multiplier, so I'm going to rewrite those directions. You can't check it. You need to switch all that, and you can do this, okay? All values in equation to opposite value, okay? So the opposite of positive 5 is negative 5. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. The opposite of positive 12 is negative 12, okay? And again, that has to be positive because later that becomes the run on the slope. Okay, now that had an x. Do you see an x, a number with an x over there? No, so you make a 0x. So you have a place to add 5x. So 2 times y. you got to do the x first. 0 plus 5 is 5. And then plus a negative 12. Always you got to do the x, have the x before the number without the x. Then you divide by 2. Since you can't combine those, you need to divide them by 2 separately. 5 divided by 2 is a decimal, so I don't want that. Okay, I keep it 5 over 2x. Negative 6 divided by 2 is not a decimal, so that would be negative 6. And then m, b. So the slope's 5 over 2, good looking slope, that'd be up 5, forward 2, starting from the point negative 6. Then the last one, 3x plus 4y equals negative 3x plus 12, okay? I know that looks different, follow the game plan. This is my y, okay? It's positive, so you can check, you don't have to switch the values. Okay, so we have to take out the 3x, but I don't need to make a 0 because there is a number over there with a multiplied. That's actually multiplied by x. So if, there w if that wasn't there, I'd be making the 0x, but I have it. 
negative 3 minus 3 isn't 0. Negative 3, if you're at negative 3 on a number line, you go backwards 3, you'd be at negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. And then you divide them all by 4 to get rid of the times 4 on the y. Now y can be by itself. That's a decimal. Just keep that negative 6 over 4. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So now you have your m and your b. So slope y int. So the slope's negative 6 over 4, and the y intercept's positive 3. Now, you, I'll, I'll accept that for an answer. You could look on a multiplication table, and those are both in the second row. But it's up to you. Okay, I'm not going to mark your assignment wrong if you just stay with negative 6 over 4. Reducing is not really the point. Okay, you have four problems to do. I know I did eight examples. Okay, pause the video and work on those, and then I'll come back. Okay, here's a single paper. Make sure you're on the right side. The numbers one, two, three, four, that's the assignment. This is going to seem just idiotic that you're doing this, but it gets you ready for what we're doing in the next few days. Okay. Um, tomorrow's assignment, you'll be having equations like these, and you'll have to graph, which should be pretty easy if you know what you're doing there. But then the next day, there's a form we need to have this skill down. Okay, it's not a hard skill. You need to find what b equals. You need to cross out all these letters, but the b. You need to put a time sign between the m and the x, so you know the operation. Now to solve for b, here's what you're doing. 4 goes in for y, just put it above the y, okay? The slope is m, m is 6, times, and then negative 3 goes in for x. Now you drop your equals, put your 4. Now this is how I want this done. I want, to, I want you to put the letter b before the plus. You can rewrite a plus. You can change the order of a plus, because... 5 plus 3 and 3 plus 5, they're 8 either way. So a plus can be reordered, and I would suggest I'm, I want you to put the B first. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. So that's what you're adding. Now you're solving for the B. You don't have multiplication. You can put a 1 if you... I would not put the 1. You're adding an extra step. Just take your negative 18 out by plus 18, and 22 equals B. That's all you do. Some of you are like, what's the point of that? And I, I agree, okay, today. Next one. That's pretty much what you're doing. Okay, so 2 goes in for Y. Negative 3 goes in for M, because that's your slope. Then 6 goes in for X. So you line up your equals, you drop your 2, you drop your plus sign, and put your B in front. The reason why I want the B in front, because I don't want people dividing because that's not correct. People will see, if they, negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. So you're like, well, why can't you just put negative 18 plus B? Because I get people every year when they write it that way, they divide then. Okay? No. If it's not in front, then you won't be dividing. You know, okay, I have to get rid of negative 18 by adding it. So 20 equals B. Okay, next problem. Okay, so... Negative 7 is y. The slope is the m, always. That's 2. And x is negative 3. So plus, you put your b. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Now I take out the negative 6. I add 6. Negative 1 equals b. Again, b is not, multiplication is not an operation in here. I mean, yeah, you had multiplication here, but as far as the letter goes, the letter is not multiplied by anything. So you see how I'm doing that. Okay, now if you have a fraction, that's why they invented these calculators. So the m, so the y, x, y, the y is 3. It always goes x and y. Negative 1 half is your slope times negative 4 goes in for x, so I equals, plus put your b first, so to find what b, what's added to b, you need to find the product by taking negative 1 abc2 times negative 4, it's 2, half of 4 is 2, and a negative times a negative is a positive, 
Okay. Take out the plus 2 by minusing 2. Really, it's a pretty simple process, but you need to have it down. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, you got 4 on the back.